Hello everyone, my name is Anton and this video today is about the person who wants to get started with developing their own plugin. I'm going to get into the kind of the sample plugin and show you how you can get started. Now I'm not a, a developer myself, so I won't get too deep into this topic, but at least it'll be something if you're a beginner, it'll kind of get you started into how you can start working with uh, plugins or developing plugins for Obsidian. Now the first thing you want to do is go to the GitHub page for the Obsidian dash sample plugin. You can easily Google this or just go directly to this particular path here in the, uh, the path in this URL. Now once you're here you can easily just kind of either go to the file or you can, if you go back here we can download the code using this particular link and it's easy to just download the zip file we'll go ahead and unzip that see if we can find it here and so and it's right here so we have the obsidian sample plugin so we is unzipped and these are all the files that you're going to need for this to get going with this particular setting and actually I'm not seeing the main JS in this particular folder so we will need to go get that as well so let's go and download the main JS if we come down here further into the document we can either go to the releases here use this link or if you're at the top here you'll see this 1.0 latest you click on that link you'll be brought to this page and you can also download things from here we'll grab the main JS that's all we're going to need because we have the other files and we will copy that into that sample into this samples plugin folder Okay, so now that we have the main JS into this folder, let's go ahead and take this folder and what we're going to do is copy it over into the plugins directory under the dot obsidian folder. So we'll copy this and you'll have to locate your obsidian folder. It's going to be, of course, your fault, your, your vault. It's going to be in a different location of where mine is, but um, yeah, just locate the dot obsidian folder. It is a hidden folder as well, so you will need to unhide it. And to unhide it on Mac, you need to do shift, command, and the period. So we'll go ahead into this folder. We'll go to plugins. And in this folder, we'll just paste the sample code here. Now, let's go ahead and change the name of the folder and you can change it to whatever you want you technically you can leave it the same as well but I'm going to put here ACH my initials and then sample now with this done uh, we can go into obsidian and you'll need to restart obsidian so let's go ahead we'll close that we'll reopen obsidian go into the vault and if we go into settings we go into third-party plugins we see here this sample plugin oh just clicked on it this sample plugin here now this is the actual plugin that we're going to um, go ahead and manipulate a little bit here and see how it works so if we want to enable it we just come over here and turn it on we see that it changes the the font color here to red and what it also does is it adds this little dice here we can see it says sample plugin if we click on it we see this little modal pop up here where it says this is a notice and, and what we can do from here is go into the code I'm going to open up 
sublime text into a new window and what we'll do is drag and drop the directory here for the plugin into this into sublime text now we can actually see the code that we're going to need to manipulate in order to make this plugin our very own now the main js is where you will put all of your code in order to do whatever it is you want your plugin to do so let's go ahead and make some changes to some of the other files in this particular plugin and we can kind of see how those change the plugin in Obsidian. And if we go into the manifest.json, this is where you're going to put information about your actual plugin. We changed the name of the folder. So let's go ahead and change the name of the, the actual plugin here. And, and, or at least the ID. And then the name here, we want to change that as well. We're going to change the version. We're not at a 1.0 release yet. Let's just put a 0.0.1. And the minimum app version here will leave the same. For description, this is a sample plugin. Uh, let me see, a ACH sample plugin for Obsidian. And we're just making some modification here. Things to just give you a getting started type of guide or instruction of how you can make changes to your plugin if you're going to create one. So these changes have been made here. I'll go ahead and save this file and we will come in here into the package JSON. Let's change these so that they match. So we're just changing these here so that they match what I had in the in the other document and we'll leave everything else the same there. Now you can come through here and you can change different things in, in the readme. You can change anything that you need to in these other files as well. Um, these maybe some things in the in the um, style.css and in here let's actually change the color here and we'll put blue so this sets the color to blue gonna make it make it our very own here and we will leave let's leave everything else just to keep this video short and now if we go back to obsidian We'll need to close Obsidian, reopen it again, go back into that vault. And now that we're in here, should be able to come into the folder, third party. We have our plugin, oh, plugin here. Let's go ahead and enable that plugin. And on the plugin here, we can also see the changes that I made to the version and also some of the changes that I made to the description. We can see now that the text is now blue instead of, instead of red. You can also see that you have a, they give a little sample where you have plugin options right here. So, and this can be found in the, the main.js file as well. We can, let's switch over to where that is. And we're looking for setting number one we'll just do a fine setting number one so we can see here where it's you have your plugin settings and it's changing the and you're setting the name and description and the text in that particular setting so just again this is just a sample tab here where it gives you an example on how you can create this here. So if we go back out into the Obsidian app here and we go to the dice, 
we can see where we have sample plugin and we have this as a notice. So let's come in here, do a fine dice ribbon icon here. It says sample plugin. Let's change this to ACH. We'll save that. The text in the status bar, we will also do, let's just change this to ACH as well. And if we come back, let's close, reopen, and we'll have to enable the plugin again. And we can see here where we have ACH bar text and we have ACH sample plugin here. Now, if you want to get some other examples about how you can maybe structure your code or some, get some examples, what you can do is you can go into the plugin directory for Obsidian and you can go into any of these plugins and you can see the code for them. Just go ahead and open up the main JS. We will drag this. Oh, I already have one in there. Let, let's open this up into a separate file. And we can, you can go into the main JS for another plugin to give you some other clues on how you can uh, code for your particular plugin. If you need examples for the API, you can also find these here on this sample plugin page. All the way down at the bottom, you have the API documentation, and this will take you over to the Obsidian API. Okay, so I hope that was helpful in giving you at least um, a little bit more information on how you can get started with creating your Obsidian plugins. As I mentioned, I'm not a developer, so I can't go into deep details around how you can create a plugin of your own. But if you go into the, the Discord, you know, you can work with the community. So I hope that that was helpful. My name is Anton, and until the next time, have a nice day.